What's up guys, David here, and today we are going to take a look at replacing the sky in your League of Legends shots to make your videos that much more epic. But before we get started, let me go ahead and show you what we're going to create. So hold on to your panties because watching this clip may make them want to just drop right off. I'm just saying, it could be that epic. So check this out and then we're going to jump right into this tutorial. Alright, so I'm using the Skin Spotlight Replay System and Camera Tool to get this footage to do the uh, League of Legends Sky Replacement. I'll put links down in the description down below uh, so that you can go download this or you can search on Google or go to the Skin Spotlight website. But let's go ahead and load into this so we can get our footage and start doing all the fun groovy stuff and uh, make us a cool sky scene. Alright, so now that I'm actually loaded into the game, I got the uh, Skin Spotlight Camera Tool loaded up. So let's go ahead and find us a cool spot to uh, get this footage real quick so I'm just going to move this uh, actually I'm going to go into um, options and then click on mouse control real quick so that I control everything with the mouse and we're going to go down here we're going to get a cool shot of the dragon actually so let's uh, okay it's about right there so I'm going to go ahead and pause this I'm going to turn off fog of war and then I'm going to hold down the two mouse buttons real quick just to kind of get a cool little scene like this maybe use the mouse wheel in a little bit kinda like this maybe actually this is a pretty good little little shot so let me go into my camera tool I just got to uh, remember what I set the keyframe for to disable the HUD and I got it set to multiply so when I hit the multiply button everything disappears beautiful ah he's like yelling at us like get out of my face I hate selfies <laughs> Uh, all right, um, let me go back over to here. So we want to uh, change the color of the sky to something that we can use. And since we're going to be using a mask, then I think I'm just going to go with your basic mm, blue. Blue might, blue might be pretty good. I mean, there's still some blue in the shot, but he's mostly red and green. We got green in the tree. So blue or magenta magenta might be pretty might be a pretty good color but we're just gonna hit sky control here let's yeah let's go with this magenta e color real, real quick just hit okay now it changes out this uh that may be so i think this blue color will be the best to work with let's see here it's kind of close to the tree colors but again i think it should be fine so let me turn this back on here we are at uh, 225, so I'm going to knock this down to to run at 0.25, and then let's take this to 221. And then we're going to have this recording, and uh, this is going to be the footage that we are going to use uh, to replace the sky. So let's go ahead and hit the play button real quick. Ah, that looked all messed up with the glowy stuff coming down, but we're just going to go ahead and leave that like it is. Um, so we can stop recording all this stuff and then we can go ahead and knock out the footage and stuff or knock out the foot. We can knock out the sky and do all that groovy fun stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. All right. So now that we've gotten all our footage, let's go ahead and start doing some fun stuff. And as you can see in this composition, um, we got a couple of video frames and then we got, we got our big ass sun flares, yo. Um, that's optional. But the main thing that we're going to focus on in this video, of course, is just taking your regular footage, knocking out the blue or whatever color you change it to because you can do blue, green, red, yellow. It's not just a quote unquote green screen. You can use whatever color you want to knock it out. However, I would not use green because all of the green in this shot, if you use green, it's just it's gonna make it so hard to do it. And like when I was picking the colors, I used that light blue, like sort of cyan blue type baby blue color because um, I noticed in the shot that there wasn't really that much blue, so it was going to look kind of decent. And plus, we're going to do a mask, so that's what we're going to jump into. And we're going to go ahead and uh, create a new composition. And we'll just uh, we'll just call this uh, Sky Replace. And it's 20 seconds long. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my, my footage. And I've already cut out a piece right here of where I was recording uh, what you just saw. So I'm just going to take this little chunk and bring it into my composition that I want to edit. Now, for what we're doing on this shot, we can get a pretty clean cut on this when we do the key correct or, you know, the color keying to knock out this blue. 
so that the dragon actually looks, you know, looks decent. So there's not like a whole lot of work we need to do to it. However, everything, as you're going to see everything here in the background, all these trees and stuff, they're going to look funny. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, do a mask. Now, looking back on this, I should have set the camera into FPS mode because we could have got like a really, really close up shot and so close that we really wouldn't have seen like too many of these trees because you're about to see that we got to got to take some time to sit here and uh, knock all this out and add in, um, add in the mask. Because I'm not really worried about the dragon too much because I know it comes out pretty good, I'm coming to a spot where the dragon's not in the shot and basically I want to cut I want to cut all this blue out and I'm going to do some masking and stuff like that. So I'm going to go down to effect, keying, and then we're going to go down to key light 1.2. I'm just going to take the eyedropper tool and just click on that real quick. Now you see we got some craziness going on. I'm just going to drop this down just a little bit and I'm going to move forward just so we can see the dragon. I like this. This is a pretty good shot. If we take this where the uh, view and we set it to maybe like a, the screen mat, we can actually see what's going on. You see this gray area right here? This is not being properly keyed out. So it's going to be kind of see-through. And I can demonstrate that to you guys in just a minute. Uh, but if you see the dragon, see how clean that looks? There's just a little bit of area here. And that's something we can deal with. That's okay. It's not going to kill us to leave just that little bit in because it's going to happen kind of fast and you're really not going to really notice this. So now we got that. Let's just go ahead and move this back to, or not source, uh, go back to final result. And now that I have this, I have my uh, stuff set up. Now you can play around with these settings for your shot with the screen gain and stuff like that. You can make it boost it up, make it smaller, just whatever, you know, just to, to try to get it to where you want it. I kind of like it at 100, and I actually kind of like this at 49 for this shot. This is really bright at home for, for this particular shot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the audio because I don't want it. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate this layer. And now on this top layer is where we're going to actually mask out this uh, because if I go here and into my footage, this 04, this is actually my sky footage. And if I just make this really big real quick, if you look, you can kind of see it bleeding through this shot. Like in here and in this area and then the colors like really messed up. Like if I take this and I turn off the key light, you see how it's like really knocking out that, knocking out the blue and stuff in this. Now we want to keep that, that kind of blue tint. Maybe we could use a different color. I don't know, but this little trick I'm going to show you with doing the mask really just, you know, it does a good job. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove that, that sky because uh, we don't need it right now. And I'm just going to take this pen tool and I'm just going to uh, actually let me scrub here because we're not like I said, we're not really worried about the dragon. And we're still going to see the dragon because we're going to have two clips kind of on top of each other. This basic clip right here is just so that we fill all this back in and it looks nice and pretty. And, you know, well, who knows? Maybe you like the way this looks. Uh, but I don't. I wanted to go back to the original and then do some like do some minor color correcting and color grading to make it look pretty. So I'm gonna fast forward this part as you watch me go through and do the pen tool just to go around all these trees and stuff like that. Instead of going through this whole thing, I'm just gonna show you basically what we're doing is we're just taking the pen tool and we're going around every little edge just like this, you know, knocking this off because everything inside this mass is gonna be able to show. So you go around this corner. Actually, I should have went up and around this. But basically, we're going to do that, and we go all the way around. So basically, you have something like this, but definitely with a lot more, like, you know, you know, little peaks and stuff like that because we went all around. But since I've already done it, I'm just going to go jump back to the other composition, and we're going to work our way from there now, now that you see what we're doing. It's going to add a mask, and then once you add this mask, we'll go over here, and we'll look at this one. We can look at the masks. The first one is set to add because... We want this footage to add in and everything in the sky to be knocked out. I don't have the key light effect on this uh, layer. See, if I click here, you see the key light. But this one doesn't have the key light because we don't need it because, like I said, we're knocking everything out. Basically, I just went around, and that was the first mask, and I set that to add because that's we want to add in this world, all this stuff. Now, I went around to the places like right here in this little building. I just I went around this little hole. And then I set it to subtract. And then you see I have three more. And I did that in three more places. Like um, they're right here. I subtracted that. And then I've subtracted it right here as well. And like any other places like you may see like that, you may want to go ahead and remove. Uh, just so it looks a little bit better. And it looks like the clouds are going to, you know, are going behind that little hole and stuff like that. And it just it really makes it look, you know, really good. No, we're just going to turn these layers off real quick. So this is what it would look like after you cut everything out. You would just... Um, let me make sure I have the, okay, I was making sure I had the adjustment layer and everything turned off. So this is what it would look like 
on your screen, if you just did everything that I did, as far as adding the mask and stuff, you would just have this like black sky here in the background. And then you can add stars if you want to. Uh, we add a custom uh, sky map right here that I actually got from Video Copilot. And all I did was I just took it, scaled it up a little bit, uh, took, the, you know, took the pointer tool and just moved the clouds to a position where I thought it was like pretty cool. And then since I did this live on my uh, Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash bloodvainht, those shameless uh, self-promotion, we added the sky and then I found this really cool uh, moon picture on Google and we just, you know, plopped that right in here onto the scene and then, you know, you can mess around with the size, make it big, make it small, put the moon butthole somewhere, you know, so we can see it. And then, uh, what did I set it to? I set it to screen. So I just went to the big moon, normal, set it to screen because I wanted it to look kind of blue. And I kind of want to look like the clouds are going through it. I don't know, just a translucent moon butthole just was kind of, I don't know, I like the idea of it. I thought it was kind of cool. So that's why I did it that way. And then um, got a little adjustment layer here. We got a little flares going. You know, adds some nice, uh, adds a nice little touch. Um, I, I can make tutorials on all this stuff if you want, but basically, all I wanted to focus on was just showing you guys how to replace this, uh, how to replace this guy. Now, if there's anything else you want to uh, know how to do, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be checking the comments. Also, you can stop by my stream, and if I'm doing an editing stream, then you can just ask me whatever questions you want, and I'll show you how to how to do different things depending on you know, well, depending on what I'm editing at the moment, you can like ask me to kind of go in depth about what I'm doing. And then I'll like explain like, Oh, this is why I do this. And this is why I do that. Um, you know, get you in the know so you can make all that epicness and just make all that YouTube money with these crazy league edits stuff that you, you do and become all famous. And then you make like a million dollars and then you start remembering your, your buddy, David, who showed you how to do it on YouTube. And you're like, Oh, David, yeah, you remember, I remember that tutorial that you, you did for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you uh, $10 million real quick. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, if there's anything you want to know, if you got questions about anything, or you just want to tell me good job, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I'll see you guys later.